Hey, this is Don with uh, The Clinical Trials Guru. Again, that website is www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Dan and I uh, both experienced an interesting uh, happening yesterday. We had a lady that contacted everybody within our company, and she was a professional job recruiter. What she was doing was re trying to recruit uh, somebody uh, for another research company. And we felt like that was just completely inappropriate. Uh, There's one thing to put an ad out there and have somebody respond to it. But uh, what she did, what we believe she did is she went online to, every, to all the research companies, uh, or at least to our company's web page, got everybody's name, got the number to the company, and just started calling them up and, and emailing and getting their email address and emailing them on whether or not they wanted to um, respond to this uh, particular position she was recruiting for. And she was doing that for another company and I thought that was wrong. First of all, I felt like it was it was inappropriate. And then second of all, um, I think it was disruptive because you're contacting people in the middle of their day, they're seeing patients, you're doing paperwork. I know myself, uh, I got a call from her, I wasn't sure who this was, but she was working for one of my other employees that was located in a different site and I thought she was somebody from the pharmaceutical company at the time you know but I myself was sitting there working on regulatory we had coordinators that were seeing patients and that she was calling and uh, asking for them and she made the mistake of calling the uh, CEO of the company and, and didn't know that he was the CEO and asking him if he wanted to come work for this other company um, it's just crazy. I mean, it's, 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 it's not a good way to do that. And, and I think even for other companies, other research companies that are out there that are trying to take people from other sites, that's not good either. I mean, it's okay to put your ad out there. There are places like Center Watch and places like that that are good for putting your ad on for recruiting people. But that's for somebody who's looking. And those people are looking on those sites because they're looking for something different. Let them contact you. Don't go calling up those job sites and, and, and trying to get people to leave there to come somewhere. Yeah, and I guess the take-home message is we have a lot of research professionals and people running other research clinics across the nation. Well, actually, across the world, we have them watching our blogs. So for those of you in charge of running research centers or those of you running uh, clinical trial companies, uh, I guess the, the best way to find good employees is either to train the ones that you have and promote them into those type of positions, or do the recruiting yourself. Don't don't outsource it to a third party uh, headhunter because they could care less what type of person they bring in. I used to be a headhunter for the restaurant business or the restaurant industry, and honestly, I didn't I didn't really care um, how good the person was as long as the company seeking that person would hire him. I would get my finder's fee. So. Honestly, I didn't care about the quality of person. Obviously, I wasn't going to put in someone who didn't know what they're doing. But, you know, I, I wasn't going out of my way to find the best person available. So, for those of you running research clinics, you want to do this stuff yourself. You don't want to use headhunters to do this for you. I know it's uh, hard. We just hired a coordinator here, and it took a couple of weeks, well, maybe a month of work. But it's well worth it. How many people did you screen? A hundred. Yeah, that was from the initial. and then A hundred through the email. We got a, an obnoxious amount of email. And then how many people did you guys actually interview? Fifteen. Yeah, so and see, we, we put an ad out for 24 hours, and we got a ridiculous amount of email. Wow. And they were all, for the most part, they were good good candidates. We narrowed it down to like 15, and we got one excellent person. So that's the way you guys got to do it. And if it's something really niche, you got to train your own people to do this. Because the, one of the things you didn't mention was the job that they're seeking for. It's like, I mean, the, there's very there's probably a handful of people in the nation that would even qualify. Exactly. Um, they were looking for uh, somebody to um, manage, a, uh, manage and recruit and uh, manage and supervise other people who go out in the field as well as a call center and you might find somebody with marketing experience but will they understand the population because you're talking about the CNS population how much do they know about Alzheimer's and schizophrenia and bipolar depression uh, 
all those different illnesses that impact the brain. And if you find someone that's very uh, subject-oriented, do they have the sales background or the marketing background? Do they know how to strategize? Can they get out in front of people and knock on doors? Can they get out there and do the presentations? That's, it, it's not something that you go to school and get trained in. It's just those are niche positions that you happen to fall into and, and, and develop into that. Or, as Dan said, somebody trains you to do that. And, and that's what it's going to take. Yep. So that's the take home message. I know this blog is dedicated towards participants, but we have a lot of uh, viewers who are actually in the research business and they're uh, running research clinics. So this is a good lesson for them. Don't use headhunters because those guys can care less what type of person they bring you. They just want their finder's fee. So that's Dan Sparrow and Don Walters signing off. www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com.